What's up everybody out there in YouTube land? Wrath2501 here. Alright guys, got a video here from somebody called Plant. I've done their stuff before and I've subscribed to them. So, yeah. Uh, this is The Heavy. This is an SFM creepypasta. This seems interesting. It actually means The Heavy, as in the TF2 Heavy. So, let's see what he's got for us here. Mm -hmm. Alright. And, go. After what I've seen... I'll never be able to play Team Basic Fortress bitch 2 again. Desktop. At least, I won't be able to see it the same way I did before. Yeah, if you've ever had Let a bot real night, yeah, you feel like scene. that. I'm 20 years old now, as I write this. But back when this happened, I was roughly around 17 or 18. I was chatting with a few friends on Discord about usual stuff. You know, what we've been up to, what projects we've been working on, that kind of stuff. But after a little yeah. while, I decided to play some Team Fortress 2 and see if anyone wanted to join. There was only one friend out of nine of us who wanted to join. And for the sake of his privacy, but I'll call him Alex. Alex joined join. my party after launching the game. And we asked each other Casual what game modes we wanted M M M and which classes we should play. Because I could mimic the voice so well, Alex chose me to play as the soldier. And because he was a skinny guy, I chose for <laughs> Alex to play scout. Okay, yeah, I get it. His loadout was the backscatter, the winger, and the sun on the stick. My loadout was the black box, oh, reserve little... shooter, and the escape plan. Hmm. After selecting our classes Decent. and loadouts, we decided to play capture the flag. And we chose one of my favorite maps in the oh, game. Oh God! Two Fort. Why? Nothing happens on Two Fort. Everybody After just runs around After deactivating all the forever. game modes and filters, and selecting Two Fort and Two Fort Invasion, just to make things interesting, we began the search. It took a little longer than usual. Uh, Normally, my search yeah. for a server took around ten to twenty seconds, but this time, I waited for a good two to three minutes. Yeah. Alex and I were getting pretty bored, and as I was about to cancel the search, Boy. the countdown to join a server came up. Not wanting to wait another minute, I clicked join, and the loading screen popped up, and the server displayed the regular two forts. The odd thing was, was the loading bar jolted back and forth. Something that never happens, neither when I was playing alone or with parties. I asked Alex if his was doing the same, and he said he was already in game, with the class red, and he had already started killing people. Oh, yes. He also mentioned how both classes were tied. Both teams had already captured two flags, and only one of the teams had to capture one more flag to win. I just assumed nobody had captured because each team were being awkward by having two or more engineers with sentries and dispensers in the flag rooms, yeah, making it almost that. impossible for anyone to get the briefcase. Yep. No, After waiting around five overpush. minutes, the game finally loaded for me. Five I selected minutes? the class Damn. and began attacking. I had some fun for a little while, striking people with my pickaxe and blowing shit up. Things were yeah. going well until, uh, until I was killed by a heavy. It was actually a decent kill, I must admit. This was when I was soaring in the air over the bridge to go from the blue base uh. over to red since I was trying to avoid getting sniped. <laughs> the kill cam zoomed in to the roof on the bridge, and it showed a heavy, with no hats or cosmetics of any kind, and he okay, had the free default to loadout. Free to play. I checked his scoreboard, and his name was just... Heavy. And he only had two points. Well, that's embarrassing. I said out loud. He probably just joined, dude! My friends asked me what I was on about, and... I explained to them that I was easily killed by a new player. At least I assumed he was a new player, considering his loadout. No, bot and they began account. laughing and calling me a noob, but I just yeah. laughed and moved on. Oh no, this is three years ago. No, bots were around three years ago, yeah. I moved out That's of the spawn started, and actually. began attacking an enemy pyro who was being ubered by a medic. And just before I was about to blow the medic up, I got killed from someone behind me. The camera zoomed into the doorway that leads from the little drop by the entrance of the base. And it was a heavy again. Same player. The heavy. And that time, 
I was getting annoyed, since I thought I was doing so well in the game, and yet so close to taking out the medic, and I end up getting killed by the same player. But, but the odd thing was, I didn't see him at the doorway before, and there was no way he could have gotten there without passing me. But then, a message appeared in the chat. It was from the heavy. It said, "You are no match for me." Now I was getting a little bit bugged <laughs> since now it seemed as if he was now, now taunting me. I wrote back a reply, basically telling the fat ass to go fuck himself. <laughs> if he wanted to mess with me, now he had my attention. Now I went out to look for him, Don't so I could go toe to toe with troll, him. You moron. But no matter where I looked, I couldn't find him anywhere. I checked both bases bridge, and even the underground tunnels. Nowhere to be found. I then checked the scoreboard again, and his name was nowhere to be seen. I laughed, thinking maybe he left the server. Until as soon as I again. emerged from the blue tunnels to enter the base, I was mowed down by a minigun, and it was him again. Same character, same player. But this time, he seemed different now. Like... The shotgun he was holding was busted on the barrel, and the wooden pump looked rotted and chipped. And his skin... What the hell? His skin looked slightly pale. Another message appeared in the chat. You cannot hide, coward! Now, I was getting pissed off. <laughs> so I pressed the voice button and I said, Heavy, will you fuck off already? Why tell me I cannot hide when you're the one leaving the server for a split second only just to come back and kill me, you fucking prick? Um, I don't think they can hear you in Others chat. in the Discord server, as I'll well as team. people in the game, voice replied, asking me who I was talking to. I then typed a reply in the chat, saying that there was a dude named Heavy who kept killing me and nobody else. They said there was no one in the game with that name. I even mentioned the many times where I got killed, and then the guy who played as the enemy medic I was trying to kill earlier? I know this since I recognized his name. He replied, oh. saying, That's not what I saw. I was going to reply to him, but as I was typing a message by the edge of the base, I got killed by the heavy again. I asked if anyone saw that, and then someone typed this reply in the chat. Do you keep swapping classes? I keep saying you killed yourself. You killed yourself? I froze, not believing what I was happening. So, there's a player that only I can see. But instead of people seeing me getting killed by another player, it looks like I'm killing myself. Another message appeared in the chat. I'm coming for you! Now... I was feeling a little bit creeped Bring out, fatty. but before I could say anything or type anything else in the chat, my Discord call Ooh. ended. I got confused and pressed Control Escape, but it wouldn't let me exit the game. I pressed Escape, but the menu never popped up. And then, all of a sudden, every player on both teams, including my friend Alex, got kicked. Now, Got kicked? that was a bit strange, since this yeah. was a public server ran by the creators of Team Fortress 2. Yeah. I then looked at the There's scoreboard, no admin. and it was just me in red, and the heavy in blue. I was honestly surprised to see his profile in the game now. And it turns out, it was him that initiated the vote for everyone aside from myself to be kicked as well. Okay. Now, things Who voted were really yes? unsettling. Creepy, even. At this point, I was in the red flag room, waiting in the corner behind the desk, waiting for the heavy. There was no way he could sneak up on me this time. Now, I know what you think. What if it's some kind of hacker or possibly a bot? Yeah, that's what I just said. But, the thing is, based on how things have been so far, up until this very point, I couldn't really think of an excuse to think so. I waited for a solid 10 minutes, anticipating for the fat bastard to approach me from either side. But, to my surprise, there was nothing. 
No heavy. No sounds of footsteps. Not even the sound of a minigun winding. It was just me in the flag room. <clears throat> I was growing a little impatient, and I decided to move out. I was no longer interested in capturing the final flag. I was more intrigued about why this guy was after me, and nobody else. Because you responded to I him. I made my way to the front of the base, and at first I thought my eyes deceived me. But Heavies. after a second look, I could definitely confirm that the sky had turned dark, as if it was nighttime. Oh. Now, I knew that Team Fortress 2 had no function like this. Should. The sky was a dark blue, but it had dark grey clouds patching the night sky, giving an almost eerie look to it. Neat. Another Actually, message like appeared that. in the chat. It said, this is just the beginning of the pain I will cause you. It was at I this moment you, that I realized without he was only typing messages that correlated to his voice lines. I couldn't tell if these were the only things Lots he could say, or if he was trying to tell me something. So, I typed in the chat. Why are you doing this? And why are you only coming after me and nobody else? Killing you is full-time job now. There was no response. So, I moved forward. I jumped off the edge and made my way into the blue pipe network. But as soon as I turned the corner, something very unexpected happened. The pipe after the small room was extended, very long distance even. It was so far, I could hardly see the stairs on the other side. So, with doubts in my head, with too much curiosity to kill. Hmm. I made my way down the tunnel. Don't. Which, in hindsight, was a stupid idea considering the weirdness of the situation. Anyways, I wandered down the extended pipe for what felt like five minutes, and it only seemed as if I hardly progressed. But then I spotted something a fair distance down the tunnel. Uh oh. I continued to approach it, and it didn't take me long to figure out what was laying in the water. It was a minigun. Only, it was old. Like, the entire body was rusted. One of the six barrels had been broken and bent outwards, and the small ring in the middle of the barrels to keep them aligned was split due to the broken barrel. And the white drum at the bottom was also busted, much like the shotgun I saw earlier and the black beam that was meant to be attached to it was ripped off. What the fuck is going on? I said in my empty room. I then discarded the minigun A little bit and of a moved error on. There. I was running down the pipe for another two minutes until two I minutes? finally reached the stairs at the end of the tunnel. To my surprise, the room looked fairly normal. I then looked back down the pipe and... It was different now. It was still extended, but now the lights were turned off. Oh, Leaving shit. just a black abyss down the pipe. Oh, hell no. Get out of there. My instincts began to kick in, and my gut urged me to look back. Turn it off. So I turned around, and standing in front of me was the heavy. Only Shoot him. He looked normal in terms of appearance, but Shoot the way he was him. standing was not the way he should be. Yeah. Like, he didn't have any weapons out, but he was just standing there with his arms crossed. This was a pose I've never seen him do before. It was almost like he was being reanimated. He was in SFM. Acting more realistic. My fingers were hovering over the keys as my eyes were wide with my mouth agape. And then, after a few seconds, he spoke. Did you think you could beat me? I finally snapped out of my trance and started running backwards. Shoot him! my rocket launcher at him. But the rockets either missed or went through him. He started to slowly walk towards my character. But I didn't want to go through the dark tunnel because I didn't know what would happen if I did. So I kept running back and forth, now shooting the heavy with my shotgun, but it didn't do anything. I then eventually ran out of ammo. But then I had an idea of using a taunt kill. So 
I whipped out my pickaxe and pressed the taunt button. The soldier threw his pickaxe and said, Come here, cupcake! But then, just as the soldier was about to throw the grenade in the air, the heavy grabbed his wrist before he could complete the taunt. The camera then went back into first person view as the soldier, the heavy staring into my eyes. He then raised his arm, clenched Kill his mine. fist, and with one solid swing, he punches me straight in the chest, and I immediately lose all my health, probably due to the fact that the heavy may have punched my heart. My no, body fell my to blood. the ground, and the kill cam came up, and what I saw had scarred my mind so badly, it's like I see it every time I see, think, or even hear the word heavy. The heavy was facing the soldier's corpse, but his head was turned to be facing the camera, oh, that's as if he knew creepy. exactly where I was looking. But now, his appearance was horrifying. His skin turned a dull grey, his teeth had blackened and turned glossy, his blue shirt had also turned grey, and the rest of his clothing was darkened and raggedy. His gloves were torn, and what seemed to be a black substance leaking from everywhere. It was coming out of his nose and his yeah, ears, yeah, dripping out of his mouth, course, man. and it was even draining out of his eyes. And yet his eyes were also glowing yellow, much like when he is zombified. Despite this image being frozen, I still felt like the heavy was still staring into my soul. The image remained on my screen for roughly 10 seconds. And then there was one last message that appeared on the chat before I lost connection. I am not done with you yet! And then, the game crashed. In fact, the game's shortcut on my desktop had disappeared, as if the game just removed itself. Hmm. I checked my Steam apps folder. Nothing. I went onto my Steam library. Nothing. I couldn't find the game. And then, out of nowhere, I got the blue screen of death. After a simple restart of my computer, I couldn't get past my login. It said my password was virus, incorrect. Man. I was really confused, but then I thought and decided to take an odd guess and try a password that could have been it. And I was correct. Yep, you guessed it. The password was obviously changed to heavy. I got onto my desktop and everything had changed. All of my shortcuts were renamed and the icons had changed. Only some of them were named and had a specific icon, whereas some of the others were left blank with only black boxes. Each one that had changed had the name and image of all the classes from both the blue and red teams. Although, okay. it didn't say that they were from blue or red. For example, both the blue and red scout just simply said, Scout. Okay. And the only reason I could tell which one was which, was because behind each of the characters had different colours to match their respective teams. However, all of the classes had the same appearance as the Heavy did in the game. Glowing oh. eyes, dull grey skin, raggedy clothes, and coated with the black substance. And then, my desktop background changed. It changed from a plain black background to a, dis to a disturbing image of the heavy's face. A smile dog! He had a satanic grin, and his eyes were emitting an orangey yellow glow, as if his eyes were on fire. And then, that is a one of image, the heavy's though. voice lines came out of my laptop speakers. It was so loud, it made me yell out of surprise. But his voice sounded deeper and demonic. And then he started laughing. His voice sounded also deep and demonic. But eventually, I could then hear all the other classes begin to laugh. Their voices sounding alike. It became so loud that I tried turning off my laptop, but nothing would work. I pressed the power button, nothing. I pressed control or delete, Nothing. With the laughter continuing, I grabbed my screwdriver and removed the laptop battery. Only then did the laptop finally turn off. Hmm. 
That's like one of those dark web stories. I slumped you back hear into about. my chair, breathing heavily. I was trying to comprehend what the hell just happened. But I could only sit there in silence for about two minutes before my phone started to ring. I took a look at it, and it turned out it was one of my friends that was in the Discord call. Now, something to mention is that this friend of mine was actually a local friend of Alex's, since they both lived in the USA. I'm British, by the way. So, I only knew them through Discord. For the story, I'll just call him Michael. I picked up, and I could instantly tell that Michael was in tears. I could hear him sobbing over the phone. Spot. I asked him what was wrong, and he didn't say anything at first. He just went on with his emotional breakdown. But eventually he calmed down Heavy and dead. told me what happened. Apparently, after I got disconnected from the call, and everyone in the server got kicked, everyone in the call heard Alex scream before he lost connection. My friend, living nearby, went over to his house to investigate. But by the time he got to Alex's house, there were cop cars there. Michael was fortunate enough to get mm. access to the house, but what he was unfortunate to see was Alex playing dead in his room, with people performing an autopsy on his body. Okay, that's just dumb. Autopsy in his room? I was in room? shock to hear this, since at the time he told me this, I only disconnected from the call like 20 or 30 minutes ago. And they're already performing an autopsy Most on him? Most of the story was it is irrelevant to mention here, but something he did tell me made my bones shiver. He told me that when they found him, his skin was a dull grey, and he was also covered in the black substance. I almost dropped the phone on the floor out of fear. I couldn't believe what he had just told me. And suddenly... I didn't feel so well. After that, I had to reset my computer to factory settings. I didn't really have much of a choice, and I haven't played Team Fortress 2 since. Michael is still feeling destroyed after all of this, and I'm planning to save up some money so I can fly out to the US and attend Alex's funeral. Aww. The investigation is still going, and no one was able to tell what the black substance was. And thankfully, no one has approached me to get my side of the story yet. And to be honest, I hope they don't. Yeah, what are you gonna tell? Because even if I was to tell anyone what happened, Some pop how would up in the anyone window? believe what I'd tell them? It's simple. They wouldn't. I have no proof about what happened to Alex. But what I do know, is that whatever happened to him, that Russian son of a bitch, had everything to do with it. Okay, I thought we were going to get some kind of kicker or something like that at the end. Anyway, okay, so that was actually pretty creepy, except for the part about them performing an autopsy on him in his room. That's just dumb, okay, and they wouldn't let him in anyway. They questioned him out there, but they would never let him in. Anyway, what'd you guys think of that? That was actually done pretty well. Um, if you enjoyed that, like this video, subscribe, guys. Help this channel grow. Uh, click on the link to the original. Like and subscribe over at Plants Channel. And I will see you guys next time. Tune in every day for new content. Bye-bye.